Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Yoi Eats. I'm Yoi and I am back in New York City and I am in Harlem right now. Now Harlem has all sorts of great eats, a really really good Dominican food scene, but when I think Harlem I think soul food, southern soul food. And there's tons of places to get it here, but my favorite go-to place is Amy Roof's. Anyways, let's go check it out. All right, so we're here inside Amy Roof's and this is a really cool atmosphere. The walls are all decorated with lots of African-American idols. Very cool. This is the Amy Roof's menu. Tons of great Southern Eats here. They have a whole section here just for their waffles with just a waffle itself, with chicken and waffles, with fried chicken wings. And then they have some other entrees as well. Their items tend to all be named after African-American celebrities. As you can see here, Barack Obama, Ludacris, Reggie Harris, Nate Robinson, all sorts of great icons and the sides here just as good as any of the entrees there's so many good sides here i really can't pick which ones i want at 850 each it's a little bit pricey but you know i guess it is what it is inflation the place has become kind of famous even the chicken and waffles the reverend al sharpton 22 bucks i remember when this was about 15 dollars so times really have changed anyways mask off and Let's order. And once we finished ordering, look what just arrived. The famous Amy Roof's cornbread. It's been a while since I've been here, but this complimentary cornbread is one of the highlights of this place. Just look at this cornbread. It just looks so homemade, so crumbly, just like a cornbread that like your grandma would make. Just look, look at this cornbread. Just look at this texture. Now this is some real cornbread, not that like pre-made, pre-frozen stuff. All right, let's try a bite of the cornbread. Mmm. Mmm. It's just such fresh cornbread. I wish I could somehow show you guys through the phone. It's just fresh out of the oven. If you feel it, you would know. It's just so warm. And the temperature and texture of food is key. And just look, it's the perfect consistency. Not too crumbly, not too hard. Mmm. That cornbread is awesome. Mm. Mm. It's already nice and buttery and crumbly, but some butter right on top of this, it just takes it to the next level. It just makes it like even more buttery, even more rich. It's almost like asking for too much of a good thing, but you're just not quite there yet. And when you walk that tightrope, it's awesome. Mm. Just look at this fresh cornbread, freshly baked grandma's recipe cornbread. Oh, it's here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And wow, guys, we just have our soul food feast in front of us. <laughs> I know I ordered a lot of food, but uh, you know, I wanted to show you guys as much as I could. So, you know, just doing my best to make good content. Now, this is the Reverend Al Sharpton, and this is a chicken and waffles dish that would make Al Sharpton himself proud. It just looks really, really well fried. Let me see if I can show you. Just listen to that, nice and crispy. And this waffle just looks so soft, yet crispy at the same time. As you can see, depending on which part I'm pressing on, and our two sides. A soul food feast is not complete without sides. Collard greens, gotta have some vegetables to help all the protein and the carbs go down easy. Collard greens, guys, is a seriously underrated vegetable. More people should eat it. And their mac and cheese here, guys, is just to die for. This baked mac and cheese, tons of delicious just baked cheese on top. Just look at all those layers. I don't want this tower to like fall over, but just look at all the layers on the inside. This is gonna be great. All right, guys, I don't want this to get cold. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try another bite. Mmm. Let me tell you, that chicken is cooked all the way, but it's not dry. I know it might look a little bit stringy in the video, but trust me, they really hit the right level. It's really, really moist on the inside. I'm not really sure how they're doing it. Maybe they marinated it in something overnight, maybe buttermilk or something, but that chicken is juicy, soft, not dry at all, packed with good natural chicken flavor. It's great, but it is time to syrup it up.
All right, guys, I think we have sufficiently jazzed this chicken up with syrup, some butter, and a little bit of sugar. But now, this looks like what we had before, but better, which means I can't wait to eat it. All right, now this is a piece with syrup and sugar on it. Oh, if you're on a diet, I'm sorry because you cannot skimp on the syrup. You gotta add the syrup. The syrup just adds a completely different dynamic to this meal. It takes this amazingly well fried and crispy fried chicken and it elevates it. It turns it into like a sweet yet crunchy yet umami dish. It is just absolutely amazing and to die for. Whoopsies, we've been blabbing so long we forgot about the waffle. A problem I will now rectify. All right, the neglected waffle, neglected no more. Mmm, oh, mmm. Please do not sleep on the waffle. The waffle is just so good. It's not just like an edible plate for the chicken. The waffle is like sweet, it's crunchy, it's soft. It's got like that fresh batter taste. You know how like frozen waffles just taste frozen? They kind of just taste like some edible square dough more or less. These waffles, no, no way. These waffles taste homemade. The batter recipe is amazing. It's to die for. But now it's time to try the chicken and the waffle. Mmm, mmm. When you eat them together, it's just perfect. You know how fried chicken tastes good because it's chicken on the inside and fried delicious carbs on the outside? It's pretty much that with chicken and waffles. Just think about how good fried chicken is on its own. That soft, juicy chicken on the inside, crispy batter on the outside, and then just think of a delicious, warm, spongy waffle on the outside. That's just incredible. Waffle chicken sandwiches. Has anyone ever thought of that before? Why not just put some fried chicken in between two pieces of waffle and sell some fried chicken waffle sandwiches? If it's never been thought of, someone do that now. Mm. 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 Wow. I could just easily destroy the rest of this right now if I want, but we need to save a little bit of stomach to try some sides. If we're too full, we won't be able to give a fair assessment. Let's pause the chicken for now, and let's try our two sides. Which should I try first, collard greens or mac and cheese? Comment A for collard greens, comment B for mac and cheese. Ha, <laughs> just kidding, you don't really have a choice. This is pre-recorded. Let's do collard greens first. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. Now, I know there's people out there that don't like vegetables. There's nothing not to like about this. This is just absolutely awesome. Mm. It's the perfect wetness. Like, it's not too wet. It's not too drippy, if you know what I mean. Mmm. That is absolutely awesome. And it's perfectly seasoned too. It's not too salty. That's great. All right, next up, the piece de resistance, mac and cheese. Sorry, the lighting might not be so good here. Let's change our angle. What did I say earlier? The piece de resistance, mac and cheese. Let's take a bite. Whoop. Whoa, why'd it get so hard? It's almost like a mac and cheese hockey puck. Let's hope it tastes better than it looks. Oh, oh wow. Mm. Mm. Okay, that is absolutely better than it looks. Like, 80% better. At first, I wasn't super confident because, you know, I tried to pick it up and it kind of stuck together. But I guess it's just because they have so much cheese on the outside layers that the cheese on the outside layers just hardened as they baked it. That's probably why the whole thing became like a big cheese meatball or something. It's not the most creamiest mac and cheese. As you can see, the whole thing is still very solid. I still prefer my mac and cheese to be a little bit more wet. I find that texture-wise, it's a little bit too dry for me. But the flavor is great, so it's up to you. 
flavor-wise, I would say it's one of the top 10% mac and cheeses I've had. Texture, maybe bottom 50%. Before we leave, let's knock out our chicken and waffles. Just check out this crispy chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that was absolutely awesome. I gotta say, at the end of the day, the fried chicken and waffles takes the cake. Everything else was pretty good, but the fried chicken and waffles was definitely the star of the show. It definitely does Reverend Al Sharpton proud. There's a lot of theories for where chicken and waffles originated. Some people say Harlem, others say the American South. Some people even say the Amish, but when they do it so well here, it's hard not to cast a vote for Harlem. Anyways guys, we just ate a ton of food but we still have collard greens and mac and cheese left. We're gonna slowly knock this out and then call it a night. Have you been to Amy Roof before? What's your favorite soul food in Harlem? Let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Until next time, I'll see you later.